preserved at times. I remember in 1991, we were both living at our grandmother's house and attending college. Back then, he was trim and healthy. Danny went to University of Washington for one semester, yet quit and moved back home. Danny ate processed food and fast food and became very overweight. Danny was a manager at Dairy Queen for 15 years and ate the food that they served every single day and became very obese. Danny chose to eat processed food and fast food even though he had diabetes and heart problems. He didn't choose to eat healthy at all. Danny was very depressed. During this time, Danny went to the hospital many times very ill. Danny chose to play video games instead of dealing with his health. Danny died in his apartment at the age of 57 of a heart attack. If Danny had made healthy eating choices and was proactive, he could have become healthy again and lived longer. This was my cousin. My name is Siri Hepler, and this is Gabriel Gonzalez. Gabriel has experienced being unhealthy and obese during the, due, due to eating processed foods daily. Since then, he has become more mindful of what he chooses to eat. Gabriel prepares most of his own food, as well as keeps track of what he eats. Siri over here loves eating healthy and prepares most of her food at home. She chooses to eat vitamin-rich foods so that she gets the energy she needs to complete her exercises. She has also taught her children about healthy eating. Eating processed food and fast food caused Danny to gain weight, and he died in his apartment at age 57 of a heart attack with diabetes and mobility issues. Processed food quote by the National Institutes of Health online website access November 26. They asked the question, does processed food contribute to obesity? Their answer is as follows. As people consume more junk food and processed foods and refined foods, they dilute their dietary protein and increase their risk of being overweight and obese, which we know increases the risk of chronic diseases. Now I will talk about four issues related to the consumption of processed foods. Number one, heart problems. Online, in an article from Penn Medicine, accessed November 20th this year, in a paragraph about heart problems, it states that most of us know that obesity can cause a spike in bad cholesterol levels, but did you know that it can also lower good high-density lipoproteins, HDL cholesterol. Cholesterol is important for removing, uh, HDL cholesterol is important for removing bad cholesterol and working to reduce the risk of heart disease. Your blood pressure rises as an obese person. Number two, diabetes. The National Institutes of Health said in an article accessed November 20th, the increased prevalence of obesity these days has drawn attention to the worldwide significance of this problem. At the start of the century, 170 million people were estimated to have type 2 diabetes, and this figure is expected to increase to 360 million by 2030. Online, in an article by honorhealth.com, accessed November 25th, they wrote that excess weight, obesity, and morbid obesity are all risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes. Oftentimes, individuals are not aware of the health risk until they are diagnosed with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. Number three, lack of mobility. In an article, on the website of the National Institutes of Health.gov, accessed November 25th, they state that 
the reduction in work capacity appears to be due to the following factors. Reduced spine flexibility, decay in endurance, limited range of movement to the major joints, reduced muscle strength, and the capacity to hold prolonged fixed postures, impaired respiratory capacity, and visual control. Number four, death rate statistics. World Health Organization website access November 26 stated that obesity has reached epidemic proportions globally with at least 2.8 million people dying each year as a result of being overweight or obese. In an article named Processed Foods Key to Rising Obesity, Access November 26, Science Daily stated that processed foods make up to close to 70% of the U.S. diet. Frozen fruits and vegetables count as, as this, but it's still a sobering statistic. Americans spend 10% of their disposable income on fast food. One out of four Americans eat fast food every day. Thank you. Thank you, Siri. What if we made it clear to someone like Danny that being healthy didn't have to be complicated? What if a sick person knew that their diseases could be prevented by simply making a better choice when choosing what to eat? Our choices start in the grocery store. When you walk in, look, all the, look past all the sweet discounts and deals on junk food that are conveniently laid out for you at the store entrance. This area is known as the decompression zone, <clears throat> as stated in an article published on May 29, 2019 on the convenience store website. It's an area meant to relax customers so that in turn they spend more. Learn where the healthy foods are, get foods you like, and stick to those. Anything that is pre-made and has a whole page of ingredients under the nutrition label is out of the deal. I lived in Portland, Oregon in 2020 and split a house with some roommates who happened to be obese. I would make a weekly grocery haul and one of the roommates would comment on how expensive my diet must be. Their comments on how expensive it must be for me to eat healthy made me curious about how much money uh, they must have saved by having fast food delivered to our front door. A cheap item at KFC is around the same price as a bag of spinach. If we look at the nutritional value of these items, Spinach has a lot more to offer to our health. For fewer calories, spinach gives us fiber, vitamins, potassium, and iron. The USDA tells us in a report published in May 2012 that those who seek healthy nutrients may have to eat more, may have to buy more cheap food to acquire the, the same amount of nutrients found in a more expensive, or sorry, in a more and a healthy item. All right. Like Danny, people might choose to ignore the benefits of having their food made at home because processed foods do come with convenience, comfort, and little thought. And these factors make it easy to overlook the health and lifestyle benefits of having your food made at home. Avoiding processed foods would create a happier world overall. Making better food choices will result in people not having to stress over the negative side effects of eating processed foods. According to an article published on cookingathomehealthguide.org on the date March 1st, 2023, preparing your food at home helps you to look and feel better, feel healthier. 
boosts your energy, stabilizes your weight and mood, and improves your sleep and resilience to stress. Another website, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, has an article published on the date September 8, 2022, that tells us those who eat a healthy diet live longer and have lower risk of cardiovascular diseases. However, if people choose to eat unhealthy foods, an article published on December, two, December 19, 2019 on the New England Journal of Medicine website shows us a study that suggests with high predictive accuracy that by 2030, nearly one in two adults will have obesity. And the prevalence will be higher than 50% in 29 states and to not below 35% in any state. The choice of eating highly processed foods can also put people on the long path to financial risk, as medical bills can quickly rack up debt. An article on the Harvard School of Public Health website, published on April 8, 2016, tells us that cardiovascular diseases can make people miss work days, employers pay more for life insurance, and direct costs like surgeries and lab tests add more to the price of cardiovascular diseases. So, now that we know the benefits of preparing your own food at home, it might make more sense to take action in doing so. Unfortunately, Danny's outcome was a result of not taking action. And what is that one action again? Avoiding processed foods. Be more mindful of the foods you bring into your home and avoid foods with more than a few ingredients. Longevity and being free of pain and many illnesses are benefits of following these guidelines. Eating healthy food saves you money from medical bills and for medicine. One last reason to remember. If a, person, if a person lives to retire at the age of 63 and lives to be 93, they would have 30 more years of a happy, healthy life. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, cool. Thank you.